I'm Dr. Candace Benier. This is Whimsy Brook Farm Limited. In 2008, with a cost-sharing grant from the Department of Agriculture, we were able to create the first uncovered horse manure compost facility in the state of Connecticut that was DEEP approved. When we bought this farm, I was 25 and my husband was 28. He's a veterinarian. We started out with our a four room tenant farmer's cottage. My husband and I, with our own hammers and nails, blood, sweat, and tears, built everything that you see here. So our farm is only 6.4 acres. We have always provided riding instruction and horse management, um, both to ag students, both at the high school level, the college level, and even at the veterinary uh, doctoral level. And I happen to also be a clinical psychologist and a family therapist, so I am always wear two hats no matter what I'm doing. I have two staff in the morning, and I probably have two staff in the afternoon also. Over the years, we have employed literally hundreds of young folks on this farm interns, both uh, graduate school, undergraduate school, and high school that have worked on this farm. So our compost facility only receives material from our farm. We don't take in any kind of food waste, uh, plant material, or anything else. We run between 13 and 20 horses. Horses produce manure in industrial quantities, enough to fuel a compost facility. So basically here we are cleaning one of our stalls. We keep our horses on pelleted bedding, which is a softwood pine that's been turned into pellets and requires less storage area than pine shavings. And, the, and once we have finished cleaning this stall, um, we will take this nice little trolley. We will take it over to our bucket loader and take it out to the compost facility. These are two of our sacrifice areas. So this manure has no bedding in it. It's just pure manure. And then after they finished picking up this trap, they will put it in the loader and take it out to the compost facility. So the management of the compost is really quite simple. Um, we fill the bins and that happens on a daily basis. We just drive it out there and we dump it. So this is fresh compost uh, that has just been dumped here. It composts at about 150 to 160 degrees. And we do not cover it because due to the amount of bedding mixed with the manure from the stalls, it needs every drop of rainwater it can get. It's like a sponge and it needs the water in order for everything to break down. So when this bin is completely full, we then move it over to this bin here. And we cover it with compost fleece. Compost fleece is a agricultural fabric that is furry on the underside, smooth on the top side. It's porous enough so that air can pass through it, but it also protects it the compost heap from excess water because as the compost works, it cools down a little bit. So this also keeps all the nutrients in it because we want nutrients in our compost and uh, it prevents it from getting really soggy. Then when we move everything down, so this one will get moved to here. Needless to say, we use a large bucket loader for this and we have already started to sell the compost here. So this compost goes in here at six months old, and as it sits here, it gets older and older. <laughs> it was a $70,000 project. We got a 50-50 cost sharing grant, so it cost us $35,000. There's a curtain drain that uh, runs around the back of the whole compost facility and empties out, comes around like this and empties out out there. And the purpose of that uh, was so that it would catch any groundwater before it hit the compost area. 
And then under this stone berm here, there is another trench that is four feet deep and six feet wide, and that's also filled with gravel. And that trench is supposed to catch any dirty water that comes off the compost area so that it doesn't run across the field. This was done in 2008, and we're very happy that we did it, because otherwise it costs you thousands and thousands of dollars every year to have the stuff hauled away. And we don't have to go out and buy compost ourselves or uh, mulch for that matter, and we've landscaped the farm pretty much like a nursery, and it's all with our own stuff. And then we sell the product ourselves at $35 a yard. We have a Google ad, we run an ad in the spring, and then we stop during the middle of the summer, and then we, we run it again in the fall, and the Google ads worked really well. It was our sanitary inspector that introduced me to the idea of being HEAP approved. So HEAP came out and they were very happy, and they walked around our pastures and saw our sacrifice areas and the way we handled water on the farm, and, and actually that was the second hook that got me to build the compost facility and to become a horse farm of environmental distinction. And we've been heap approved ever since.